Hi, Shamel. Hi, Sophie. How are you doing? Doing well. Good to see you and to be with you today. How are you? I'm doing well. Lovely to be with you this morning. Uh, it's been a year since your last interview. And I wanted to congratulate you again on the world premiere performances of Touch of Red at Masmoka. It was fantastic. <laughs> um, so do you want to talk a little bit about the experience um, of, you know, going through this, this world premiere? Yeah, thank you for bringing us towards the world premiere of Touch of Red, Sophie. Literally could not have done this without your partnership. You know, you know, I feel about you the best. Thank you. Uh, it was <laughs> it was a dream realized to premiere Touch of Red finally after two years of creation process with this work. I usually say it takes nine months to labor a work into its birth. And Touch of Red, this multidisciplinary duet, has taken us tribe two years. Um, but Gratefully and fortunately so during this year, we've had amazing partners um, who have been incredibly supportive in terms of residencies and financial support and developmental support and technical development support for this work. Mass Mocha was one of the last partners to join Tribe with Touch of Red production, but they came through. Um, Mass Mocha and Jacob's Pillow were beautifully partnered with Touch of Red to allow us space to do something that was very essential to us, the creation of our works, which is to have a technical residency. So we, Tribe, were at Mass Mocha for about two weeks um, in residency there, building our set, installing our projection, installing our lights, and dancing and moving. And by the time we got towards the world premiere, it was a whirlwind of um, enthusiasm of um, feeling accomplishment, feeling supported, feeling the thing that I love most about live art, which is this space to gather with performers and audiences um, at such a high level. So I'll never forget this experience. It'll live with me for a very long time. Wow, that's awesome. Um, also, we should uh, mention that the work has received NDP support. Yeah, I'm very grateful to finally be a recipient of the National Dance Project grant support. Special shout out to Indira Goodwine for championing us, as well as Tariko Mili. Um, this is a game changer to have NDP support. Yay! So, Shamel, where can we see your work next? What's happening this spring? Yeah, Tribe, we have an incredible spring um, ahead of us. We begin our touring of Black Hole at Belgrade Dance Festival. And then we continue touring to Cap UCLA for Touch of Red, followed by performances of Touch of Red at Museum of Contemporary Art Chicago. Then we tour Black Hole to Kelly Strayhorn Theater in Pittsburgh. And then we come back to New York for the New York premiere of Touch of Red at New York Live Arts. We then travel to Leicester, UK to perform Black Hole at uh, Let's Dance International Festival. And in between these performances, Tribe is in residence at Baryshnikov Art Center through a grant by Princess Grace Foundation for a new work that we're in process with called Solace of Red, Volume Two, um, which is a work in, that I sort of, uh, taking a curatorial positioning with Tribe. Um, I asked for Tribe artists during the pandemic, actually, um, whether they'd be interested in creating their own works um, within their own individual voices, alongside Tribe Collective. And four of them said yes. <laughs> and this work is under this umbrella title, Solace of Red, which for me is um, aimed to extend the multitude of uh, the different artists employing various mediums of art creation within different location of art sharing spaces 
Um, it was really an interest of mine to give space for the artists of tribe that work, that create work not only alongside our larger works that I sort of direct, but really to share with audiences also the unique individual voices of each of these creators and have a space that sort of shelters that and supports that. Um, and this is Solace of Red. I'm looking forward to sharing this further in the new year and beyond. I actually got to see uh, some of this work uh, at Jack's uh, in, in Brooklyn a couple of months ago. Um, do you want to share a little bit about who those artists are, those tribe artists? Yeah, sure. Um, Tashrik Fredericks, who's South African-born, Brooklyn-based artist of Tribe, um, he is one of the choreographers and performers of a work that he is entitling Territory of the Heart. Uh, the music is by soundscape artist T.T. Britt, who is Tashrik and I favorite techno DJ in New York City and beyond. Um, and the other artist is Ashley Pierre-Louis, who is Tribe's artistic administrator, but also, and she's also the um, dramaturg for Touch of Red. But Ashley is also an incredible artist on of her own right, in her own voice. And Ashley is creating a solo on her self-entitled Soraya. Um, the other artist is Marcella Lewis, who is also one of the three performers in Black Hole, alongside Tashrik and myself. Uh, Marcella is creating a work with womb men. Um, this is people who were born with womb. And this work is entitled Spectacle of Ritual. And uh, the last artist, but not least artist, is Luca Del Carlo, who's a transmedia artist. Luca develops and designs all of the lighting that is shared in Tribe's productions. And he specializes in video projection mapping and lighting art installations. Luca with Solace of Red is creating an installation that is both interactive and immersive using projection and video motions to create a really one of a kind experience that engages audiences um, into a world as soon as they walk into a space. Nice. Thank you for, for sharing this. So um, when do you think might be the next uh, experience of, uh, of, of sharing Solace of Red in, in New York City? Yeah, we, we begin our residency at Bershikov Art Center in the end of January, beginning of February. Um, and then we continue there possibly in October, and we might have some things in between, you know, but I think that this work is different from our other works in a way that it is a slow burn. I want to give the artist space and time and resources um, to allow them to fully realize their visions with their works as it comes. So essentially for me, I'm kind of taking a step back and facilitating in a way that when they tell me it's ready, that's when it'll be ready. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, okay. Well, I look forward to seeing the next uh, episode of uh, Solace of Red. So, Shamel, do you want to share with us what inspires you at, at this time? Like books, movies, podcasts, recipes? Mm, recipe. Food about food, right? Ah, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I am very much into beets, um, both the vegetable. <laughs> I'm very, you know, I'm very much in his red phase and beets is so good for the blood. And I love the taste and the color of it, of beets. That's inspiring me these days. Um, and DJs, I'm really into working with and being in proximity to techno music um, as an underground nightlife um, voyeur, participant um, in this culture, I feel that is also so much connected to Black culture in a very alternative way that's sometimes unseen. 
So I'm going a lot to this club called Basement in New York City. It's my favorite space. It's like my second home. They have the most incredible techno DJs and electronic um, lineup from both uh, in the United States and beyond. Um, so yeah, beats. It's all about beats these days. Okay. Okay. Very good. Nice. So Shamel, um, APAP is coming up soon, really soon. But before that, we're going to have a nice break. Yes. Um, but anyway, so APAP coming soon. And, and what do you have uh, cooking for APAP? Yeah, for this year's APAP, Tribe, as a live feed artist and resident at New York Live Arts, will participate in New York Live Arts version of APAP, which is called Live Artery. We will begin our participation with a studio showing of Touch of Red, excerpt of that work. Um, this will happen on Saturday, January 14th um, at 6 p.m., at the studio at New York Live Art. I'm really looking forward to being in proximity to presenters in this intimate way where we get to really go behind the scenes of that multidisciplinary work and really sense the proximity between audience and performers, as well as the electricity that is built from the connection between Tashrik and I as performers. Um, and the movement, I mean, there's, you know, there's so much movement in this work, the most movement I've ever created. And I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing um, during this experience, the large vastness that the movement offers, even without the other elements that are plentiful for this duet. Um, following our Touch of Red excerpt studio showing at New York Live Arts, we have two fully produced theater performances of Black Hole. Um, we performed Black Hole at New York Live Arts this past April. It was our first time coming back into theaters. We were very nervous about it. Didn't know whether people would show up, but people actually showed up and showed out. We had sold out performances and beautiful reviews, notably um, one from the New York Times, and Black Hole was uh, chosen as a critic's pick for that performance engagement. And it was such a meaningful experience for us. Um, and I guess for New York Live Arts too, because they've asked us to come back for a second time to share Black Hole at their space, which is, I don't know, unheard of, Sophie? Maybe you can let me. Um, but these performances, <laughs> these performances at a Black Hole at New York Live Arts will happen on Sunday, January 15th at 2 p.m. And Monday, January 14th at 7.30 p.m. New York Live Arts. January 16th. 16th? Okay, yeah. great. Monday, the 16th. Monday, the yeah. 16th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 7.30. Awesome. Yeah. Great. So we'll have... Uh, we'll have two opportunities to see, uh, actually three opportunities to see your work, uh, two for Black Hole and one for Touch of Red. Awesome. Is there anything you'd like to add, Shana? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to engaging with presenters and patrons and producers during this APAP season because it's, a, it's our first time tribe as a Brooklyn-based multidisciplinary arts collective to engage with audiences in that way. Also, as artists of Lotus, um, we're supposed to do this last year, but Omicron and the pandemic paused us. So to have the opportunity to fully be in relationship and share space in the flesh during this time is something that we're very hyped about and something that we're very ready for. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we're ready too. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamel. Well, thank you so much uh, for, for this lovely interview, for your time. I know you are busy today. You have a show tonight at the Claris as this interview is happening on December 2nd. And mm -hmm. uh, so best wishes mail for tonight. And thank you again. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Bye.